The DevExpress grid control for Silverlight can be bound to data using a number of ways. One available method is to use the RIA services of the Windows Communication Foundation to create a model and load data from a SQL Server database. In this video, we'll take a look at how to create an ADO.NET Entities model and bind the AG data grid to a local SQL Server Express database. So let's get started. I'll start with a new instance of Visual Studio. From the Start page, I click the New Project link. Here, I'll select Silverlight and click on the Silverlight application template. Let's give it an appropriate name and hit Enter to create the project. Next, I'm presented with the new Silverlight application window. I'll leave the first item checked so that a new website project is created to host the Silverlight application. I check the Enable WCF RIA Services box so I can use the Entities Framework to bind to a SQL Server database. I click OK and the projects are created and populated accordingly. Now, to set up the data source, I'll need to start by adding an Entities Data Model. So I right-click the ASP.NET Application Project and add a new item. I switch to the Data Template category and select the ADO.NET Entity Data Model. I specify a proper name for it and add it to the project. Next, I'm presented with the Entity Data Model Wizard. I'll specify that the model should be created from an existing database and click Next. Now I need to create a new connection string for my local instance of the SQL Server Express database. I select Microsoft SQL Server as the data source and click Continue. I'll manually type in the local SQL Server instance and select the database name. I click OK to close the Connection Properties window. The connection string has now been created and will be saved in the web.config file as Northwind Entities. I click Next. And select the products table that will be used to populate the Silverlight grid with data. I click Finish and the Entity Data Model is created and displayed inside Visual Studio. I can select and remove the columns that I won't use in this demo. Keep in mind that while I won't be using the Product ID field, a primary key is required to be present in the model. Therefore, that field is not removed. I'll save and rebuild the solution. This is required so that the data entities become available for use throughout the project. Now I need to add a domain service class to provide data via WCF RIA services. To do this, I'll right-click the ASP.NET project again, add new item, Select the Web category and choose the Domain Service Class item. Let's give it an appropriate name and add it to the project. I'm presented with the new Domain Service Class window where I need to specify which entity's model to use for data. I'll use the only available data context and select the entity's model for the products table of the Northwind sample database. I click OK and the Product Service Domain Service Class is created and displayed in the IDE. I'll close the class file and switch to the Silverlight Designer. From the toolbox, I expand the DevExpress Data category and drag and drop a new Silverlight Data Grid Control onto the page. I'll resize it so that it fills the entire available area. To bind the grid to data, I switch to Code View. First, I'll rebuild the solution so the Domain Service class becomes available. Then I'll add namespace references to system.servicemodel.domainservices.client and the ASP.NET project itself. I add a new instance of product context. Next, I add the following code to retrieve the data and load it into the AG data grid control. Finally, I need to create the appropriate columns to display the data. I'll switch to the XAML editor. I use a refactor feature to add an end tag for the AG data grid. Inside these tags, I'll paste the code to create the appropriate columns. And I'm done. I rebuild the application and run it to see the results. You can see that the data is retrieved from the local SQL Server database and loaded into the grid control. The grid then, of course, provides all of the standard runtime features such as column sorting, sizing, reordering, as well as the built-in filter menu. To 
learn more about the DevExpress Data Grid for Silverlight, please visit the online documentation for AG Data Grid. Thanks for watching, and of course, thank you for choosing DevExpress.